for what value of k does the equation 3x squared plus 4x plus k have no real roots? So the key word here is no real roots or have no real root is the key word here. Okay, so if you have that, what does that imply? Okay, so let me write that. So no real root should tell you something. No real roots. No real roots imply b squared minus 4ac becomes what? Should be negative or is less than zero. Is, let me write is in words, is negative. Or b squared minus 4ac if you want to write this in a mathematical way, is less than zero. Okay, so when you compare this, uh, when you have this statement, we need to know what is A, what is B, and what is C. Now, A is the coefficient of x squared. My pen is not working. So the coefficient of x squared is 3, so A is 3. B is the coefficient of x. B is the coefficient of x so i can say okay b is 4 and c is the constant which is k so let us substitute this into this equation so this is 4 squared i'll write this in bracket always good to write in bracket minus 4 times 3 times k has to be less than 0 okay so this is 16 minus 12 k is less than 0. So if you add 12k to both sides, so inequality can be treated as equality. If you add 12k to this side, you can add 12k to this side. So what happens? So this changes to, so this and this gets cancelled. So 16, let me use a blue color now. So 16, this and this gets cancelled. 16 is less than 12k. The same thing, if you read from here, this way around, the same thing is same, you can say 12k is greater than 16. So I want to divide, I want to cancel this 12, so I'm going to divide this side by 12, so this side by 12. So the inequality doesn't change because you're multiple, you're multi dividing by a positive number. So k is greater than 16 over 12. Okay, <clears throat> you can divide both the numerator and denominator by 4. So, k should be greater than 4 over 3. Or this implies k should be greater than 1 and 1 third. If k is greater than 1 and 1 third, you have no real roots. So, let us check our answer. Suppose if k is, if k is, if, let us say, if k is 2 and 2 is greater than let us say k is equal to k is equal to 2 so what's my what's our equation our equation becomes 3x squared uh, plus 4x plus 2 so let us use a graphic calculator uh, this is your uh, equal to 0 okay so this is your quadratic equation so this is my graphic calculator and this is oops so uh, i have to have this i can't okay so let me type so this is 3x squared plus 4x plus 2 and see what happens there can you see it is above the x-axis. It will not. It's not intersecting the x-axis at any point. Okay. So here, from this you can see. And suppose let me take one example. Suppose what happens if k is equal to one? Okay. So if this is not satisfying this equation or this relationship, k has to be greater than one and third. One and one third. So if I take k is equal to one, the equation would become 3x squared plus 4x plus 1. 
let's see what happens. So yeah, exit, go delete, yes. Okay, and I'm going to type in three x squared plus four x plus one. And see what happens. Yeah, it's intersecting the x, the, you've got two roots. So in other words, when, whenever you take any value for k which is greater than one and one third, you, are, you will have no roots. Okay, or in other words, your parabola, so if you want to understand this in a graphical way, this generally means, suppose, if k is greater than zero, so this is your y-axis, and this is your x-axis. So if you want to express this graphically, if k is greater than, you take any value, k is greater than one and one third, your parabola, let's say this is my parabola, it may look somewhat like this anyway, or it can also go the other way around, upside down. In short, it will not intersect the x-axis at any point.